Hi guys, welcome to day 138. Charlie's had an awesome day at school. I'll fill you guys in a minute. Uh, just to start by saying, <coughs> um, yesterday was awesome. Um, it was so nice to see Ellen and Samuel. And yeah, just to see them, them playing together and see how they interact and, you know, even sometimes not interact but still be in each other's company. Um, it was fantastic. Uh, and... Yeah, I can't explain it. It was just brilliant. They were, you know, the same, both seemed very, very happy. Charlie got slightly upset towards the end. Um, he had a little bit of a cry, but, you know, put that down to being quite overwhelmed. And obviously it's, it's out of his routine a little bit. But, yeah, they come in, they were dancing and laughing together and whatever else. So, fantastic. It was, it was brilliant. And then to follow on from that, Today, Charlie's had an amazing day at school, so I'll just, um, I'll start by reading his proud workbook. Um, unfortunately, I can't, um, I can show you one of the pictures, which is there. Um, unfortunately, the rest have other, other children in, so, you know, in, in fairness to them, I can't, you know, I'm not going to put them all over YouTube, but, um, I will read the, the snippets that go with, go alongside the pictures. So the first one's Charlie loves swinging and visiting the school play area. He liked looking up to the sky. Uh, the next picture, <coughs> our story of the week was elves and the shoemaker. Charlie engaged in printing shoes and wellies with hand over hand at times. So that's fantastic. Um, the third picture is Charlie exploring the ingredients and mixing to make bread. He works alongside his friend. Um, so it's really funny the picture. Um, so Charlie's got a nice flower tash going on. So looking good, son. And then the last picture of this week that's in his power word book. It says, exploring the snow with his friends. Charlie's aware of the environment and his surroundings. And it's just a nice picture of him playing in the snow outside, um, outside of his classroom. So that's really really nice and fantastic. Um, <clears throat> but this, the. This is incredible, right? Charlie's had a really, really good day. During snack time, he independently used his snack picture to choose a snack, which he repeated again and again to ask for his snack. That, you know, that's concrete evidence that, you know, picture cards are really, really working with Charlie and really cementing well. And that is extremely, extremely amazing. You know, bridging that gap of communication is fundamental in it just er everything in life. You know, any form of communication I'm absolutely fine with, whether it be with cards or macaton or speech or um, you know, use a computer, whatever. I'm not, I'm not bothered. So the fact that he's using some form of communication blows my mind, and I could not be happy. I'm so buzzing over that. Uh, when Miss wasn't paying his attention, he stuck his picture to her to get her attention. So he, I, I, I can't explain it, right? I, you know, you guys will know the feeling, but I just, I can't explain it. He's He's gone and done that, you know, off his own back, and I can't even imagine it, you know. It's, it's crazy. During the afternoon, having been shown the green picture, he then chose green paper for his picture from a choice of two colours. Incredible. So he's actually made a choice again. You know, Charlie makes lots of choices throughout his day. I get that. But through his own will, if you like, you know, we would struggle to get um, Charlie to make a choice within a structure. You know, like, there he's been given a choice and he's made the choice. Whereas <coughs> free flow and Charlie will choose to go left or right, if you know what I mean. Um but if you said to him, Charlie, would you like, you know, turn left or right, then, you know, he might look at you a bit like, what are you talking about sort of thing. So to say that he's actually done something that was asked of him and made a, a, a choice upon that is just, it's amazing, absolutely incredible. And I am so, 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 so pleased with him. Fantastic job. Um, Yeah, so that's what he's been doing at school today. Um, He's currently downstairs having his... Poppy wanted a picnic lunch, as she calls it, even though it's dinner, but they've got sandwiches and pasta for Charlie and the stuff for them to try. 
Uh, so they're just done with that and it's the usual bath and bed and get the guys sorted and uh, wound down and chilled out. So I'll leave it there anyway guys. The clip's are on the end as always. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend and we'll speak tomorrow. Um, just before I shoot, phase two of the Sound and Words Be Heard campaign is currently in the process of being built. Um, you might see something on that page later or maybe tomorrow, but I'll let you guys know anyway. Brilliant stuff. As always guys, it's... <laughs>